Well, hello everybody. Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. I'm uh, going to talk to you a little bit about some of the tools that I use for wood deck cleaning, wood fence cleaning, and uh, just kind of go over a little bit. I'm actually making a longer one for the online video school, but did want to share a little bit uh, with you YouTubers out there. So I don't often clean wood decks, but when I do, this is pretty much the way I do it and the, some of the tools that I use. Hey, don't forget uh, the Difference Makers Conference. Our next one is coming up June 8th and 9th. Again, right here in Kingwood, Texas. You can go to pressurewashingschool.com. Click on events and you can get registered for that. It's going to be another great time with myself, Jeffrey Blackman, and Vaughn Cross. And, of course, our wives will be there again as well. So get signed up for that. We're located right here in the Houston, Texas area, right outside of uh, Humble Kingwood area and Porter. So if you're ever out this way, stop in, see what all we carry, talk a little shop. Don't have to buy anything. We just enjoy talking shop. A lot of guys do that. So uh, stop on in and see us. And now let's get to uh, the tools I use for wood deck cleaning next. Okay, guys. So uh, to go over just a few of the tools that I'm using on this deck, I've already pre-treated this section right here, but we're using the, and by the way, this is my wood deck on my home. Um, my wife's having a little party tonight, so she asked if I could clean the wood deck, and I said no, and here I am <laughs> cleaning the wood deck. So anyway, um, just to go over real quick, I'm doing a video for the online video school, but I thought for the YouTube viewers, um, I'd share some of the tools in a little bit too. I'm doing a little bit more extensive one for the online students. Um, so by the way, if you're interested in that, it's a lifetime membership. You pay one fee and you get to access all the videos that are there as well as any is that I update like this one. And I've had a couple guys asking um, about wood decks and how I cleaned them, so I thought I would uh, make a video for them, but also for the YouTubers out there to give you all a little helpful hints too. So anyway, the tools that I'm using are uh, our roof and deck cleaner, and when it says roof, that basically means for like wood shakes, um, any type of wood roof, uh, you can use this on. We use it on decks, we use it on fences. Um, things of that nature when we're not wanting to use bleach. I'm not a big bleach guy for roof, I mean for uh, wood, but it can be used if you are using it properly and not over, you know, uh, the, the old 50-50 mix I wouldn't suggest on wood, but I use this wood cleaner mostly. To me, it's just easier. I don't have to worry about vegetation. I don't have to worry about, for instance, getting the... Uh, uh, splatter on the walls and you know that changes the color the bleach causes it to change color and spot it and all that kind of stuff there's other stuff you can use out there sodium sodium metasilicate um, sodium hydrox mixes sodium hydroxide mixes, mixes golly I can't even talk today um, and other things there's other wood cleaners um, but I'm using ours, and I'm using it at a 6 to 1 ratio. There's a little uh, chart right there that tells you what to mix at, because this deck stays under a roof. It does get really bad, just kind of that dried out look. And uh, so a lot of times, if it's a really bad deck, if it's really dirty, I'll use the adjustable wand so I can control my pressure. That's very nice, especially when you're doing... Um, the railings and, and the spindles going up between and all of that kind of stuff, bal balustrals. Um, but today I'm going to be using just our regular wand with, uh, I think it's the 40, 47 inch or 36 inch star shaped grip. And then I've got the uh, Mossmatic gun swivel so I can change the direction of the angle. So if I'm and you'll see that in a little bit. If I'm down cleaning the wood deck and I want to go to clean up and down, all I have to do is turn the black grip on it 
and I don't have to stop and change my nozzle. So I've also have a 12 volt sprayer, uh, battery operated. A lot of times on big decks or big houses or buildings or whatever, I would use the Kingslinger air diaphragm system and use our su supplemental hose and fill up a five gallon bucket with our uh, cleaning uh, solution, the deck cleaner and uh, spray through that but since this is small it's just my deck it's going to take me a little bit longer spraying wise but I don't have to roll out the hose and then clean the thing out clean the pump out run water roll the hose back up so I can spray this out pretty quick and then um, we will be using the eight gallon per minute pressure washer and the 2520 tip that you see here that's the low rinse nozzle that comes on the J-Rod. If you have a four or five gallon per minute machine, it would be a little different. That tip there, the wide tip with a bigger hole, that's the tip that you would use if you were downstreaming, say bleach, or downstreaming this wood cleaner. You could do that as well. You would just make it a little bit stronger. And then that's my uh, slingshot shooter tip. So that's the nozzle I'll be using, uh, the gun I'll be using. The adjustable wand that I will use sometimes, I just wanted to show you all that. Um, I won't be using it on this deck, I don't think, but I always keep it handy just in case. Then the roof and deck cleaner and the battery operated sprayer. So let me go get the machine fired up and we'll start cleaning some of this. And uh, I'm treating this in sections um, just for purposes of the video. Most often times, like I said, I have it hooked to the Kingslinger using the um, uh, supplemental hose so I can, you know, really flood it. You want to get a good coat on it. This is not like bleach when I teach you guys that you have to control your spray and it doesn't need to, you don't need to flood the surface with bleach for it to work. It just needs to kind of have a good, light, nice little, right above a mist coat is what I teach everybody. Um, but this stuff, you really want it to saturate and get into the wood as much as it can. So we put a good little coat on it. So let's get the machine fired up and we'll start doing some cleaning. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> of course, when you're on a job or videotaping or whatever, things always change from what you're planning to do. But I decided to go ahead and clean that section back there by the uh, swing because I knew that that swing as I got up there was going to be... Uh, kind of hard to navigate as well as uh, while I'm trying to record. So uh, this is what it looks like dry. And so we'll start right here. You can see where I stopped cleaning. That's where I have not sprayed the solution, the deck cleaner. And so here you can see where I've cleaned using the 25, uh, 20 nozzle on the eight gallon per minute machine. You'll get the same exact results whether you're using a four gallon per minute machine or a uh, five gallon per minute machine. If you're one of those that has like a two and a half gallon per minute machine or a little direct drive machine, I'm not sure about the results you'll get with those because I've never used those before. But I know they have a lot of pressure, but I say a lot of pressure. They advertise a lot of pressure, but very low volume of water. And that's what's key to this type of cleaning is having more volume of water so that you can use less pressure. So um, I'm going to treat this area and just to give you an idea what it looks like with the little battery sprayer. So I'm just coating it on there really good. And then I let it sit for a good two to three minutes. Like I said, if I was doing this for a customer and it was larger, I'd use the Kingslinger and I'd really flood this and I would spray everything at one time. And then I would keep the Kingslinger um, running. And so if it dried in areas as I'm cleaning, I would just grab it and spray it just to wet it. And then... Uh, Heat spraying. I've just found this stuff works really well if you don't let it dry, but if it does dry, then you just want to re-wet it and keep going. 
Um, what I do when I'm cleaning with the wand, let me get this a little more saturated, uh, and we'll clean this section and show you. Uh, what I do when I'm cleaning the wood is I'll keep the gun about six inches, six to eight inches off. Um, it's more of a feel. It's enough to clean, but it's not enough to scar the wood. Um, and of course, on a deck like this, it hasn't really been cared for. Yes, it's my deck. Um, I wouldn't really be as concerned about that. There's a lot of things that I talk to customers about before I will clean a wood deck, but uh, I don't really have time to go into that right now. But um, that's about how far I keep it, and I'm just kind of watching it and making sure it's cleaning. The nice thing about this cleaner also is if you keep that nice distance from it, you won't get stripes as you go back and forth. So that's really key using this type of cleaner um, that helps prevent that. Now, if you get real close to it um, you, and take the wood out, um, you, you will start showing stripes. So you've got to really you know, practice on a few decks, old decks or whatever, but this will help prevent those stripes. So let's fire the machine back up and then I'll show you the cleaning aspect of it. Sometimes what I'll do is come, kind of go along the wall, just put me an edge, and then go back and forth. Like I said, this cleaner does a great job of not leaving stripes, but you want to make sure that you're not stopping. You want to go back and forth. So when I come to here, I kind of come up a little bit. That gives you an idea of the cleaning capability of this product. Sometimes if you see a little foggy area or it hadn't kind of cleaned, just kind of lightly go back over it. You can also, if you have a ball valve, you can also adjust your ball valve down a little bit if you need to adjust the pressure a little bit. Just don't bog your machine down. I'm cleaning right in between and it's perfect because the angle of this 2520 is perfect. Go right in between. And I'll get underneath a little rail on the outside. I want to get as well. So that's basically it. Just kind of keep it up that distance. Maybe a little close, about right there. You can almost clean two, work, uh, two boards at a time, but. It's hard for me to talk and clean at the same time. I don't, I, don't, I don't chew gum, so I don't know if I can walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> so, of course, I'm going to give you a, a uh, dry. When it dries, I'll take some pictures or video of it, too, once it's dried. But give you an idea of what it looks like. That's why right. we're cleaning all this. And that.
So one of the things you want to make sure you do, this goes for cleaning concrete, wood, anything. You notice when I was cleaning uh, this wood, let me get under here first. Make sure that you're not going like this. You don't want your wand going up and down. Keep your shoulders steady and go straight across. Same distance. Takes a little practice, but you'll get to it. You'll get used to it. Like I always say, once you get it, you won't forget it. So you don't want to go up and down. That's the problem. That's why you see striping on concrete because people aren't keeping their same distance back and forth. Keep your elbow and your shoulder straight and go back and forth. I'm just playing around right now trying to show you, but uh, that's what you want to accomplish. It's nice, even uh, nice, even strokes going back and forth. Okay? And then, when it comes time to rinse, I just always take the gun off and then I'll just uh, rinse with the open ball valve. But, uh, something that's very important anytime you're going to pull your trigger or open the ball valve or whatever, always make sure it's not pointed down at the surface because you get a sudden burst of pressure. Always point it. I don't know if you can see me. Now you can see me. Let me turn this up a little bit. But whenever you're going to turn your ball valve, whether you got your gun on or not, you don't want it pointing straight down. Okay? You get a sudden burst of pressure. Even if you have a nozzle on or just an open ball valve, always point it out somewhere where it's not going to hurt anything. Then bring it into your surface. So, you can rinse all this off. Open ball valve. That'll be good to go. They notice I'm not cleaning the railings or anything like that today. This is that floor. Because that's what she said, can you clean the wood deck? She didn't say anything about the railings. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay, everybody, I hope this has been somewhat helpful for you. This wasn't an ideal type, uh, perfect, going for perfection here. This is my deck, and so I was just trying to uh, clean it up a little bit. But hopefully it uh, showed you how well the product works few tips, few tools that we use on uh, cleaning decks. Um, just keep in mind wood cleaning, you know, it can be an art, especially if you're planning to stain or seal. I don't ever do that. I always refer that out to other people um, if they're wanting to stain or seal. Uh, but uh, hopefully the tools and, and the product that we use, you're able to see how we use it, why we use it that type of thing hey don't forget coming up april 10th and 11th which is just less than a week away is our next hands-on training here uh, that we do every month and have been doing for the last 10 or 11 years right here in houston texas and then also the online video school which i've got some more in-depth information on what we did today for that that i recorded as well but uh We've got that as well, lifetime membership, one-time fee, um, and you get access to all the videos that uh, are there as well as any that I add in the future. And then June 8th and 9th coming up here right here in Houston, we've got our next Difference Makers Conference with myself, Jeffrey Blackman, and Vaughn Cross. And so uh, that's up on the website. You can get signed up for it. It's 179 uh, per person. If your wife is coming with you, your wife gets to attend free. Um, and that's an early bird special through April, May 1st. It will go to 249, I believe it is. So, uh, check that out. If you, uh, have any questions, uh, just ask me down below 
and uh, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you have any questions about the products, you can email me at info at dougruckerstore.com. Any questions about our school, educational opportunities, conferences, events, all that kind of stuff, you can email me at pressurecleaningschool at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. Hope it's been helpful. And y'all have a very, very blessed day.